Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another compliance tip of the week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800-101 Control 3.5.10, store and transmit only cryptographically protected passwords. Now, I know what you're thinking, this is kind of like a no-brainer, right? But it's not quite that simple. So, here's the deal. There are a lot of places in your network where passwords are stored and not all of them are just on a server, right? Okay, so Windows passwords are you know, pretty safe to say they're all, they're all cryptographically protected, but what about your network switch? What about the password to your network printer? If you are able to access that via HTTP and not HTTPS, then that means you're transmitting your password through ClearText, which means any packet sniffing program that might be present on the network can easily pick up what your password is. And that's really what this control is all about. And I gotta tell you, this is how a lot of attacks happen and why it's so important to make sure all of your managed network equipment is only accessible over HTTPS, uh, you know, and, and the, again, passwords are not stored in clear text databases. So another example is if you've got custom made software, you're running this all the time and the custom made software is really old and it's got a whole bunch of passwords into controlled unclassified information like technical drawings and there's no encryption on the password we're in trouble. So if I was to give a sample answer to this, I'd say implement. There's no cryptographically protected method of password storage or transmission possible anywhere in the system. The functionality is performed via Active Directory domain services and, and you know the accounting system user access, all of which are encrypted. So uh, again, for our simple purposes, we're not even going to talk about network switches. We're not going to get really deep into the answer unless an assessor wanted us to. But again, you should have a good full understanding of what it is that they're really asking for here because it is deeper than just a Windows login. And hey, if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP-100-171 or CMMC on your own, and you're looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit nist 800 compliancecom or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help. Self-schedule time your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website or learn more about our completely done-for-you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. Hey, if you love the content we're putting out there for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button or even better, smash the subscribe button uh, to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification everybody's going to have to go through eventually. And hey, until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.